So far, we've talked about the quantitative measures that allow us to distinguish between, for example, strong and weak acids and bases, and how we use and think about Ka and Kb to work with acid and base strength in quantitative terms. In this video, we're going to turn our attention to qualitative considerations of the relative strengths of acids and bases, relating molecular structure to the relative strengths of acids and bases. And this is something that practicing chemists love to do, to be able to look at a structure or more commonly compare two or more structures and make a judgment about, for example, the relative acidity of one molecule versus another. We're going to introduce this process in this video, and this is something that you'll apply regularly throughout both your introductory and organic chemistry courses. So getting the foundations down now is important. We're gonna talk about two classes of acids in this video, in particular, binary acids with H and another element, and oxy acids. And both of these types of acids were introduced in an earlier unit when we talked about nomenclature. So some of these compounds may seem a little bit familiar. So on this slide, we're looking at binary acids, H with another element. And in particular, a main group element in the P block here in periods two and three. So for example, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, and chlorine. And what we can see from the figure here is that acid strength increases as we move down a group. So HCl is a stronger acid than HF, for example. H2S is a stronger acid than H2O. And acid strength increases moving left to right across the periodic table. So H2O, for example, is a much stronger acid than CH4. And the Ka values listed here and the Kb values listed here give you a sense of the acid and, and base strength. So why is this? Well, let's focus in on the acidity of compounds like H2S versus H2O or HCl versus HF. Binary acid strength increases down a group for the reason of the HX bond strength. The HX bond gets weaker as we move down a group because the X atom gets larger and the size mismatch between hydrogen and the X atom when X is relatively large causes a weaker HX bond. This makes dissociation of the acid into H plus or H3O plus and X minus more thermodynamically favorable when that HX bond in the intact acid is weaker. Left to right across a period, we already know from prior discussions of periodic trends that electronegativity increases. The X atom tends to want to hold on to electrons more and tends to be more stable with an excess of electrons. In other words, with negative charge. What this does is create a situation where as we move left to right, X minus, the conjugate base of the binary acid HX becomes more stable and thus dissociation of HX to form H3O plus and X minus becomes more thermodynamically favorable and the acid becomes more acidic as we move left to right. It's all based on electronegativity looking left to right across the periodic table. So for binary acids, to summarize, it's a size effect moving down with larger X atoms generally more acidic in HX than smaller X atoms, and it's an electronegativity thing as we move left to right across the periodic table with more electronegative atoms being associated with stronger acids. And of course, now that we know this, we can extend the logic to the conjugate base strengths. And I'll leave this up to you, but if we think about it sort of in, in opposite terms, right, because of the conjugate seesaw, we can make inferences about base, base strength. For example, H2O is a weaker base than NH3 because O is more electronegative than N and less willing to donate electrons as a base would to pick up a proton. Oxy acids are compounds with the general formula HMONX with some central atom X surrounded by oxygens or hydroxyl OH groups. And the relative strengths of oxy acids are associated with a couple of structural factors as well. So we saw these compounds back in chapter two, and in thinking about their relative strength, there are two things to consider. The first is something that we saw with the binary acids as well, the electronegativity of the central atom. As that central atom gets more electronegative, for example, in going from phosphorus to sulfur, the oxy acid gets stronger. And this is because the conjugate base, the anion, is more stable. This facilitates 
dissociation of the oxy acid into hydronium and the conjugate base, which is typically some polyatomic anion like sulfate or bisulfate, phosphate, etc. The oxidation number at the central atom also matters, and the upshot here is that the more oxygens there are attached to the central atom, the, uh, the stronger the acid is. So we can compare, for example, nitrous acid and nitric acid. Nitrous acid has a central nitrogen with an oxidation number of plus three, because that nitrogen has three bonds to more electronegative oxygen atoms. Nitric acid has a, an additional oxygen atom, and taking into account formal charges, that central nitrogen is formally positive and this oxygen formally negative, as well as the additional bond to oxygen, we find that the oxidation number of nitrogen in nitric acid is plus five. That greater oxidation number is associated with stronger acidity. In a sense, there's more positive charge at the central nitrogen atom, and so it wants electrons more than the nitrogen in nitrous acid, which has less positive charge associated with it, right? And so to obtain those electrons, it can surrender a proton or give up a proton as an acid would and form the nitrate anion in the case of nitric acid, which is quite stable, due in part to the plus five oxidation state of the central nitrogen atom in nitric acid. Similar argument for sulfurous versus sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is much stronger than sulfurous acid because of the larger oxidation number in sulfuric acid, plus six at the sulfur, whereas it's only plus four in sulfurous acid. So oxy acids have this, just to summarize, this electronegativity effect at the central atom, the more electronegative that central atom is, the stronger the oxy acid, as well as an oxidation number effect, the punchline of which is adding more oxygens to the oxy acid tends to increase the acidity of the compound.